Hey there, it's John from JohnLumer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. And this is part of my continuing series on getting set up on Facebook timeline for pages. And today I'm going to focus on how to edit the current posts on your timeline. So there, there's some really cool features that actually we have now that you did not have previously on the old format. I want to go through those right now. So let's say you're going through your timeline. And I post pretty regularly. Um, today has been crazy because of all the changes, but uh, I still usually post a couple times times per day. So let's say you post something pretty important that you would like to have pinned at the top. So if you were to hi hi uh, hover over one of these items, um, edit or remove, click on that, click pin to the top. Interesting use of language, and uh, it will immediately go to the top of your timeline and it'll be signified by this little yellow uh, bookmark type thing so that's pretty cool and it'll stay up there for up to seven days and after that it'll go back to trigger spot you can also just click as remove and then unpin from the top and it'll go right back to where it was now, something else you can do let's say you still think that's an important thing but maybe you don't want to pin it to the top you can highlight it and when you highlight it, it takes up two columns instead of one. Um, so that's also another good alternative. Something to keep in mind, though, what you can't do is highlight something and then pin it to the top. You can try, but it's going to stay, just go back to one column. And I'm not positive why that would be. Uh, I think it's one of two things. First of all, you got the friends and recent posts and likes on the right-hand side. So it just doesn't work. And, but also maybe they just want to discourage that because it, it, would, it would take up the whole top and uh, maybe just not a good format. So those are a couple good options for you. Um, also, again, if you edit, you can change the date. And you might use that, especially if you had entered in dates. Uh, again, if, if you enter a milestone, uh, say when you're founded or you know, just important dates in your company's history, maybe you'll decide down the road that you, you put a wrong date, you can always change that. But you really technically can change the date on anything you post. Um, you can hide from the page, you can delete a post, and uh, those are two different things. So hiding something, it still lives out there. Deleting something, it's gone for good. If you hide it, you can bring it back. Um, and then uh, you can also report or mark your spam. So another option, if you go up to the, the admin panel, go to manage and use activity log and uh, you will recognize this from your personal timeline. But here are some really fun little uh, options to filter. You can view based on year. You can also view based on all these uh, various content types. So let's say that you know you want to either highlight or hide uh, particular po types of posts. And you could easily do that here. Surface those items and, and you know, edit it away. So as you know, now everything is here, whether it's on your page or not on your page. So you'll see that it's hidden from your page if it has a line through it. It's allowed on your page if it's an open circle. You can easily toggle it by, by just clicking on that icon. So everything is here. Something else to keep in mind, if Facebook carries through their policies over from uh, personal timelines, is eventually the further back you go in time, they'll start hiding more and more and more and only servicing the most important stuff. So that is, is again, a situation where you might want to go back in time, find your old posts that you may find important, and uh, unhide those items. So that's really it. Um, that's uh, editing your timeline in a nutshell. For more information, go to johnlumber.com. I've got several tutorials there. Or follow my page, like my page on Facebook, at John Lumber Digital. Thanks.